Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, manager Carlo Ancelotti talks Kylian Mbappe, Aurelien Chouameni, Luka Modric, Rodrigo Goes, and Adagule ahead of Rayo Volcano vs Real Madrid clash. We are going to be briefing you through with all the updates on that in this episode as we move forward. And shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as we will be providing you with Real Madrid squad lace to face Rayo Volcano, highlighting all the absentees as well. So please stay tuned right up to the end of this episode. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bell so you do not miss on our next update. Real Madrid will be taking on Rayo Vallecano away at Estadio de Vallecas, hoping to strengthen their grip atop of the La Liga table. Rayo had managed to hold Real Madrid to a goalless draw earlier this season and the Merengues will be eager to avoid a repeat of the result and get a victory to maintain or extend their lead over Girona in the table. Ahead of the game, manager Carlo Ancelotti addressed the media discussing various topics including the biggest ones, that of Kylian Mbappe, with Mbappe confirmed to leave Paris Saint-Germain. All signs indicate he will be headed to Real Madrid, and when asked about it, Ancelotti opted to remain coy, saying, I see and hear everything, but nothing else. I don't understand that it is the topic of the day for you, but I understand that it is the topic of the day for you, but not for me. When further propped about the speculations, he added, we have prepared for the game against Vallecano, and that is what we have to talk about, not about anything else. I would like to work on this season there is a long time to go before next season, Ancelotti said. On being asked if he was worried about the Mbappe speculations, he said, If I am worried about Mbappe, do you see me worried? I am thinking of going the same way for next few press conference. I am not worried. On facing Rayo Vallecano away at the Vallecas and the challenges that will bring the Real Madrid boss remarked, Vallecas is always complicated. The opponent needs points and they have changed their coach this week so they will have extra motivation. And Slotti then praised the job that Aurelien Chouameni has done as an emergency centre-back for Real Madrid this season saying. When the centre-backs return, Tramini's role is not as a centre-back, his role is as a pivot, which is why we signed him. He can contribute as a centre-back and he is getting used to the new role. It means he is very, very intelligent. Antelotti also commented on the situation of Luka Modric, who has barely featured in recent matches, praising the veteran for the professionalism. This issue of Modric, I have talked a lot with you, with him once and that's enough. For a player who is used to playing, it is always harder for him to sit on the bench than others. I understand that, he remarked. 
Lucas' behavior is that of a professional and of a player who continues to fight to be on the pitch. In the dressing room, he continues to contribute the same as when he was playing more. He is very respected and is an example because every day he is ready to train and play at his best, so he continues to be a reference to the squad. On Modric's future, with his contract expiring in the summer, Ancelotti said, What the club has done with the last legends is to let them decide. I spoke to Luca about it a month ago and everything is quite clear between the two of us. Ancelotti also highlighted Rodrigo on his press conference for the Brazilian's defensive work off the ball after it was told to him that the Brazilian is the player that runs the most for Real Madrid. I value the defensive work of the forward very much because, as I have usually said, the players who has the most quality is the one who runs the least, but that is not the case with Rodrigo. His work has been very important in the last few games to keep a clean sheet, he said. On being asked about Aldagule and his physical conditions, Ancelotti replied, Goulet is fine and can play from the start because his physicality level is good, but he has to fight with the competition in the team, but we have to be patient with him, Ancelotti said about the youngster who joined Real Madrid this summer from Fenerbahce. He has been struck with multiple injury crises, but as of now, as we just said, he is currently fine and needs time to adapt and compete with the rest of the squad. Real Madrid now have an excellent squad, which could be further boosted by Kylian Mbappe's potential addition in the summer. When asked if it will hurt the team's balance or whether all good players can find a way to play together well, the manager said, Yes, I agree that good players can play together. But the important thing is to keep the balance. The most important thing is quality and balance. If you combine those two aspects, well, it is good, as he concluded. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our next update. See you next time and a very big hello Madrid to us all.